Well, of course, it was five years ago now. Well, doesn't time fly? The 23rd of June, 2016, a historic day when 17.4 million Brits went out there, ignored the establishment, rejected Project Fear and voted for Brexit, voted Leave. And what have we seen since then? Well, Project Fear looking increasingly insane, of course. I mean, on the economic front, you've now got forecasts that the economy is going to grow at its fastest rate since 1948. The IMF have said the UK will be the fastest growing advanced economy in 2022. That's their forecast. Even the CBI are forecasting 8.2% GDP growth this year. You'll note that the lorry chaos predicted by so many for so long in Dover never happened. Hence why you don't see any of the TV cameras camped down there as you would have, of course, if there'd been any problems. Wages are rising, as I've talked about on this channel before. Again, another story mainstream media seem incredibly reluctant to report upon. Their slant on it is that there's worker shortages. Well, actually, what you're seeing now is an increase in wages for British workers. Deals are being done around the world. We've already seen a deal done, of course, with Australia. And of course, and migration. Yes, of course, a lot more to be done. But ultimately, the British government can be held accountable now because we have no longer got an open door to the whole of the EU. Of course, we want to see more done moving forward. But just take a moment to celebrate the people's victory, to celebrate the historic day. Brexiteers went out there and refused to allow the establishment in Westminster to overturn that referendum result. Speaking today, Nigel Farage saying five years ago today, the British people rejected the establishment and voted for independence. It should become a national holiday, our independence day. I think that is absolutely right. I know I'll be having a couple of drinks this evening. Uh, Andrew Bridgen, Conservative MP, saying five years on, I'm immensely proud to have fought for the people's Brexit. Belinda De Lucy also commenting today, saying there is still a lot to fight for. But never forget that against all odds, those with platform and power failed in crushing our cry for democratic agency and freedom to self-determine our own laws. Heroes, every one of you, 17.4 million. And of course, Prime Minister Boris Johnson talking about the five-year anniversary in Parliament today. Here's the clip. Today marks five years since this country voted to leave the European Union. Yeah. It has allowed us to take back control of the issues that matter to the people of the United Kingdom. It has given us the freedom to establish eight free ports across the country, driving new investment, to develop the fastest vaccine rollout in Europe, to protect and invest in jobs and renewal across every part of the UK, to control our immigration system and to sign a historic trade deal with Australia. It will allow us to shape a better future for our people. Mr Speaker, over 5.6 million EU citizens have already applied to our EU settlement scheme and I would encourage anyone who may still be eligible to apply ahead of the deadline next week. So yeah guys, I'd be keen to hear from you down below. How do you feel five years on about that historic day, about that vote, about what transpired afterwards and about the fact that we have now left the EU, that we have now left the transition period and already on an area like vaccine procurement, you're seeing the huge benefits of being a nimble, agile, independent nation, no longer constrained by EU membership. Do let me know your thoughts down below. Keen to hear from you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a quick thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Hit the join button if you want to support my channel. If you enjoy my video, see the link in the top pin comment to become a member and support my channel. I'd really appreciate that, guys. And as ever, thanks for watching.